Hi, my name is Vince, and today we're gonna do a still life setup. Let's go to the store. Greetings from Wichita, Kansas. My name is Vince, and we're gonna go travel a little bit today. We're gonna head to the supermarket, pick up a few items for still life. I'm gonna tell you why I choose the items I do, what I'm looking for, what I'm thinking, and how I construct one. When we get back to the studio, we're gonna build everything, and I'll talk a little bit more about what I'm thinking when I set up items uh, for a still life. So stick around and watch it happen. I'm here with David Downing from Apprentice. <laughs> I'm here with David Downing from Apprentice Creative, and he's driving so that I can film safely. We make good decisions here. So uh, we're gonna head into Dylan's here. That's our local supermarket. Can I even say that? I don't know. Probably not. I'm gonna take a look at uh, a few things. I've got some stuff in my mind. Basically, I'm gonna follow my inspiration, and you should too. Anytime you're building something, see something that speaks to you, figure out a way to include it. Let's go. Kind of like I said, I'm just waiting to see something that really talks to me. It could be a shape, it could be a color, and maybe a little bit of color variance too. Immediately this rind spoke to me. It's kind of hard to see this light, it's a little purple. I think that could be a fun color to paint. So let's start there. Two, I think about varying shapes kind of long and lean, thick, stout, tall. You want ultimately to create some uh, difference within unity. Color, just slightly different too, that's nice. Yeah, that's better. So light travels through this a little, little more clear, a little more opaque. These are all little things you can vary slightly to create interest in the piece while maintaining diversity. Probably also include some sort of blue cheese of some kind. Um, something because it's really fun to paint the little veins in the blue and the way they, they're dark, but also create visual interest as well. It's pretty good. Question is, is this the shape I want? Ha! This is better right here. Even taller, slimmer. Um, and that'll also create a good piece here. I think this is nice. So a couple of things we've done here is a really interesting purple, and that's what started it for me. Seeing this rind here, uh, yellowy orange, and then green here. It's kind of a little more green, blue color here. Great color mixtures, and it's our place to start. Let's find some more stuff. Next thing I think about, since I've got you know, mostly light colored objects, is variance in value. I'm gonna try to find some dark, either fruits or vegetables that I think would create more visual interest. The more variance in value we have from light to dark, um, the more interest we create. So things like an eggplant. Um, these beets over here are really fascinating to me. Look at the color. Uh, it's orange and the, uh, oh, so amazing. Um, very tempting. That one there is just beautiful in so many ways. I've never done beats, but um, this may have to be what I do today. 
Did they even get us in the bag? Kind of. So I want something that's really dark. We talked about the eggplant. I think, you know, take a look at a couple. I'd love to remain some sort of green top or even, even a withered top would be nice, that's fine. But uh, let's see, just looking for something with an interesting shape. Some really fun, dark purple color in there that I may be able to get out. Probably hard to tell, but there's some lighter streaks here that are quite beautiful. Oh, you're good, you're good. I didn't want to mess up your photo. You're doing good, you're doing good. We're just trying to let the know, let the world know that there are artists, true artists in Wichita, Kansas. So I'm an artist. Yeah, what do you do? What yeah. do you make? I do giftware. I for years I worked for an international company designing giftware and accessories. And oh, no kidding. Now I write books and I illustrate. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good luck with your project. Thanks. That's what it's like living in Wichita. Okay. <gasps> Don't step oh. on it, see? Right here. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> I see it. Wichita, I told you, I told you. Mmm, let's see. We need something sweet now. Let's find it. Can't go wrong with the Bosque. Frankly, it wouldn't be a still life without a pear, right? It's very likely I won't be eating these. Waiting for the one that talks to me. Actually, on my hand, I can I can smell the cheese already. That that blue cheese is so strong. I held it momentarily. Mmm. Gym socks. It smells just right. All right, I like um, some of the things we have. Now I'm just gonna walk around a bit and see if anything else takes me. Um, so this is just kind of a fun part of choosing items. Bread, we need some bread. I see the deli right over here, let's do it. Looks good, I don't know. Ice cream will always stop me in my tracks. Baguette's always good. There's just some really nice shapes here created um, by the Italian round. Seeing what's there. Again, just looking for some fun color. Uh, it's a little too light. Love for it to be a little more cooked on top. You know, a little browner. Just to get that nice brown to soft white look. Um, you know, we're creating a beautiful painting, so we want to consider all those things, not just pick this one thing we see. There's something decent over here, I think. This is probably the way we'll go. Nice, crusty top there that'll be fun to paint as it gets darker towards the top of those ridges. Uh, we can break it up into a couple pieces as well and uh, provide a few more elements to add to the still life. So I think we've got it. I have a few other little items here and there that I'm gonna add to the still life when we get back to the house. Um, if you saw my episode on my studio, you've seen I've got a whole closet full of interesting things and uh, we're gonna use some of those here and there. Maybe a pitcher, a wine glass, who knows? Uh, just whatever, whatever we think looks good, we'll try a few things out. So thanks for going shopping with me. We're gonna buy some things on the business card.